Um, Isaac Newton was born in uh, Woolsthorpe, England in the um, United Kingdom in 1643. I think he moved soon after because both he and his parents who had a lisp couldn't pronounce Woolsthorpe. Um, he attended school at King's School in Grantham. Uh, I think he went to King's School because as we know Queen's wasn't built until much later. Uh, his mother wanted him to be a farmer but um, he had uh, higher aspirations. Uh, the story goes that one day in school he was uh, being bullied, and sometimes there are positives in the bullying field. Um, and uh, he was so fed up with this individual that not only did he teach him a physical lesson, but he also taught him a, an academic lesson as well, that uh, force does equal mass times acceleration. Feels good to be a gangster. He yeah, attended the, the prestigious uh, University of Cambridge uh, between uh, 1665 and 60, 1667, but uh, he had to leave because of the plague. It, it, I guess for some people. Uh, so apparently he did survive the plague and uh, looked towards studying uh, in the field of law. What a complete waste of um, He was first known for his work uh, uh, with telescopes, and he built himself a refractive telescope, whatever a refractive telescope is. A refractive telescope is a telescope that refracts, coincidentally. Uh, however, his telescope was quite large and not very easy to carry around. He had temper issues and um, wasn't very fond of criticism. One of his uh, major discoveries was uh, the, discovered the theory of gravity. The, uh, the classic apple falling from the tree, an observation started an inquiry process. So he's sitting under an apple tree having a tuna sandwich at his grandmother's farm because he felt sorry for not being a farmer and he was reflecting on his future. I don't want to be a farmer, I want to be a physicist, please send me a sign. Wind comes along, not an arrow, I'm getting my stories confused. Nobody shot an arrow at the apple. Wind came along, blew the apple off the tree. The apple hit him in the head. Boom. Now we have, I want to be a physicist. He said when it hit him, first of all, ouch, was that an apple? And secondly, I'm glad it wasn't a pear. Newton, having never, having never even seen anything fall before, was amazed by the fact that he was hit on the head by an apple. So his equation, which is FG, is equal to GMM over R squared was the first time that somebody put a, a numerical value to the force of gravity. One M is the mass of the Sun in this case, the other M would be the mass of the planet Earth and the radius is the distance between the two objects and of course that squared. So the amount of force that exists is has to do with this relationship. And Newton was the first one to come up with what's called the universal gravitation, that G value. The force of gravity is calculated based on this number of 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared. So apparently in 1696 he was appointed the warden of the royal mint. I don't know if that he guarded a large peppermint somewhere but um, he took his duties very seriously uh, and he was seeking to prevent corruption or the stealing of said gigantic mint. He was uh, elected as a member of parliament which you know, there's lost a little bit of respect for him right there. But uh, luckily enough, only held the, held the post for one year. His book, Philosophe Naturalis Principe Mathematica, has been called the single most if influential book on physics. In that book, he highlights the three laws of motion. Three laws of notion, no, motion, or the notions of the three laws of motion are, first law is called the law of inertia. All objects having mass also have inertia and an object will remain at rest until it's acted upon by an unbalanced force or it'll move at a constant speed unless acted on by an unbalanced force. The second law is F is equal to MA so when an, a force acts on an object the object must accelerate in the direction of that force and the third law is the law of action-reaction so for every action force there's an equal and opposite reaction force. Those forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, uh, even though he was uh, best known for his work in, in physics and the laws of motion, he was also interested in, in light and what light consisted of. So he was uh, one of the first to be able to split light into its colors and then recombine it. One of the other things that Newton was, was responsible for was that he predicted that the Earth isn't spherical. What is it? Not spherical. It is um, 
I guess you would call it oblate. Is that Trudeau? Trudeau. Everybody's talking about Trudeau. For his work in, in physics and mathematics, he was knighted by Queen Anne in Cambridge in 1705. And from that day forward, he was known as Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton died in 1727 at the old age of 85. And um, that's that. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching the video.